Hi guys, thank you for joining again. Uh, today we will ha we'll have a wonderful time with you guys. And today God will move mightily. And today's episode really, really important because God wants to move in your life. And he, he, Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. So, so call people today. Call if they, if they need, uh, they are sick, call them. If they you are believing for uh, healing, just, just stay tuned because God will move mightily. And as today's episode, as we are beginning, as we are speaking the words of Jesus himself, we are believing as we are teaching, God will heal you today. As we are speaking the words, God will heal you today. So today's section is not much about, uh, not much about the word, but we really want to minister healing to you and present Jesus as as a word and who wants to heal you today. Bible says that He sent His word and He healed them. So we really want to minister healing to you today. Yeah, please um share this broadcast right now. Call your family or friends if you know anybody that needs healing. Because we believe we are believing in for many miracles that everyone watching right now that you're gonna get a touch in your body and that you're gonna get set free from every disease and every sickness and ev any pain in your body right now in Jesus' mighty name. So you, again, if you are dealing with any sickness, I want you to receive this not just in your thought, in your understanding, but really receive in your heart and in your spirit. And that's that's what what God really wants to do is to. Uh, renew your spirit and restore the power of God inside of you. What happened when Jesus died on the cross is he purchased the healing for each and every one of you. You might be from different backgrounds. You might be from different places. As we are speaking this all over the countries, we are really believing that God will touch you. It, it Whatever you believe, whatever you, uh, wherever you came from, whatever you, uh, whoever you are right now, but God really wants to heal you today. God really wants to touch you today. Bible says that Jesus went on doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil, right? And Jesus really wants to touch you today. As you are just receiving the word, God, I'm believing God will touch you and God will heal you today. God loves you so much. No matter what religion you are, God loves you. And we're believing today that God will set you free from every disease and every sickness. Again, God loves you so much. That's why when he died on the cross, he actually was was whipped. You know, there's a verse in the Bible. It's uh, Isaiah 53, 5. It says here, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Jesus was whipped when he went, uh, when he died on the cross, he was whipped. Why did he do that? He did that with joy because those whips, represents healing for our bodies no matter what sickness no matter what disease you may you may have a term terminal sickness maybe the doctor told you that you only have a few months to live or maybe a few days no matter what sickness or infirmity you are dealing with right now god has healed jesus his stripes by his stripes you you were already made whole and in the name of Jesus, this is your day of freedom and delivery in Jesus' mighty name because he loves you. I just feel that so strongly yeah. right now. God wants to set people free and God wants to heal people right now. So even right now, just close your eyes right now and receive the touch of God. We rebuke every sickness, every disease, and every infirmity in Jesus' name right now. In Jesus' name right now, be healed. Be healed. And I see the word the recovery in Jesus' name. So right now, just close your eyes. Or even as a point of contact, just stretch out your hands to us. Be healed right now. I see God touching bodies right now, even now, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. I see diseases falling to the ground. In Jesus' name. Even pain decreasing right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I just hear this, that whatever sin you were involved in, that the blood of Jesus is greater than any sin that you have done or that even right now that you're involved in. And God wants you to turn your life to Jesus Christ. God wants you to surrender your life to him even now. Remember that. And I just rebuke any condemnation or shame. There's nothing we can do that will make us deserving of the love of God. Nothing, no works, no good works 
can make us deserving of the healing of God. It's not by works lest any man should boast. We don't deserve healing. It's nothing that we paid for. Jesus, he's the son of God. What did he do? He died on the cross. He rose from the dead to pay the price for our sins and to pay the price for our healing. It's not by our works. We can't boast about it. He already paid the price to heal you. So if you have shame and condemnation right now, and if you're thinking, why would God heal me? I am, I am in sin. No, it is time to repent. Turn your life to God and be healed this very day in Jesus' mighty name. So I rebuke that shame and condemnation off of you in Jesus' mighty name. Healing, we don't deserve healing. Healing is free. Healing has been provided by Jesus because he died on the cross. He already shed his blood. He died for you that your sins may be washed away and so that your diseases, your sicknesses, even mental illness shall be made whole. As we just read in Isaiah 53, 5. So I just feel that strongly right now in the name of Jesus. That God wants to set people free from shame and condemnation. Even guilt in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, the Bible says that taste and see if the Lord is good. If the Lord is good and you have to taste it. How do you taste it? Bible says that the healing is the bread, right? Healing is the Father's bread. Bible also says that the Bible says that the, the good, every good and perfect gift comes from above comes from the father who is in the heavenly lights right so when you receive healing when the healing is for you for free god wants to receive healing for free before you anything receive anything else the healing is for you already receive it because you will taste the a part of jesus inside of you even when i was a hindu back then and i was like lord i need a he healing and i was desperate for healing I would go places, I would go places, this place and that place, this person and that person. And I'm telling you, no one could ever uh, was able to help me. And I know the pain. I know the, the suffering that I was I was going through. I, the pain is real. The sufferings are real. What people are facing, I know those are real. And Jesus w died for you. That's the news for you. Jesus died for Gentiles. Jesus died for Jews. Jesus died for every human being on this planet earth jesus loves you and he died for you so what the it's it's not religion you receive jesus lord you receive him lord i'm i want the, your healing what they are talking about what abby and michelle we are talking about lord i want that healing today and as you say that god will start moving in your heart moving in your body and god will start healing you bible says that for for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so whoever believes in him shall shall have uh, everlasting life right so jesus came to give you life so as you are listening to us it's there's no formula for this there's no formula for your you just have to trust lord i receive the life of God right now I receive the life of Jesus gave that same life that Jesus gave I receive it right now and I'm telling you God is God is giving you that life and that sickness is disappearing from your body right, right now. now the paralysis the bones are coming together right now the pancreas are functioning right now the the thyroid the brain and the heart is yeah. functioning right now yes. because the life of God is filling your heart right now I'm telling you, this is the most powerful revelation in the Bible. The powerful revelation. What happened in Romans 8, uh, 6.23 is, For the wages of sin is death, but the free God, gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And this, this might be the, the, the easy verse or everyone uses, but this is one of the most powerful verse because here it says, The free gift of God is eternal life and it's free for everyone. The eternal life is free for mm. everyone. So I just pray right now that your understanding be enlightened. That you on you you may know ho the hope of His calling, the glory of God, that the gift of God that He has given you right now, God will heal you right now. And the gift of God is your healing for free. Receive it. The taste of God. Taste and see if the Lord is good, and God is healing you right now. The, he is filling your heart. Uh, filling your body right now with the with the power of God, with the life of God. I'm telling you, I sense the power of God so strong today. And this is the secret. Again, this is the secret. Just receiving the life of God in you. 
the Bible says that the same Holy Spirit or the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of you. It lives inside of you. And same power or the same spirit will give life to the mortal bodies. So right now, God is again giving you life inside of you. In Jesus' name. Yeah, the Bible says he sent his world, word. He sent his word and healed them. Who is the word? The, the, by, in John 1, it says, John 1, 1, um, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was God and the word was God. He sent his word and healed them. Who is the word? The word is Jesus. Jesus was sent by God to heal us, to heal you. And as my husband mentioned, that healing is the children's bread. And Jesus is the bread of life. So partake of the Lord Jesus Christ today. Today, if you've never received him as your Lord and Savior, receive Jesus as your, as your Lord and Savior. And with Jesus comes healing. With Jesus comes deliverance. With Jesus comes peace, peace of mind, healing of your emotions. Jesus wants to heal you spirit, soul, and body. He wants to make you whole, spirit, soul, and body, so that nothing will be missing and nothing will be broken. Again, because why? He loves you. Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Jesus already died on the cross. Healing is available to you, for you right now. If you'll just receive him and receive his touch. God wants to set you free. God doesn't want to leave you the way you are. God doesn't want to leave you helpless. You know, they, they call the gospel the good news. Why? Because if, if you're not saved, you can get saved. If you're not forgiven, you can get forgi forgiven. If you're not healed, you can be healed. Right now, don't wait. This very day, God wants to touch you and he wants to set you free. And he wants to, to, to set your life in the right path, in the right course. God even wants to heal your family. God wants to heal your relationship. If you're in a marriage that is broken, God wants to heal your broken marriage, your broken relationship. If your, your relationship with your children is broken with your son, with your daughter, God wants to heal that relationship and he wants to make your relationships whole. Or maybe it's even with, with your friends. You have a broken relationship or many relationships right now. God can heal those relationships and turn those relationships around for his good. God loves you so much. He wants to heal your life. Maybe your life is so broken. Maybe you're so hopeless. But God wants to heal your life and set you free this very moment in Jesus' mighty name. If you will just receive the healer. Jesus is the healer. He is the deliverer. And if you will just receive him as your Lord and Savior, surrender your life to him. He will make you whole. He will make, he will heal you in every part of your, your, your being. He will heal you. He will heal your heart. Maybe you have a broken heart. God loves healing broken hearts. God will heal you inside and out in every part of your life if you will just surrender your heart and your life to him right now in Jesus' mighty name. And just keep watching till the end because we will just keep praying for yeah, you, ministering right. to you and, and just receive it, believe, and just surrender to the Lord right now in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, and uh, there was one time when Peter was so bold peter uh right and then he went and then he said i do not have other things I, I he realized that the power in the name of jesus is so powerful it it became he became bolder and bolder and then he was like i do not have silver and gold but what i have i will give it to you so rise up and walk and the reason i'm sharing this is because i'm hearing in my spirit some of you need to rise up and walk right now there's there's nothing that can separate you from the healing of God. God is healing you right now. Come on, rise up and walk. Come on, rise up and walk. I, I see the pain is disappearing in your ankle, in your bones, in your knees right now. Your back is being straightened right now. Rise up and walk. Come on, rise up and walk. What God is saying to you, rise up and walk. God is healing you right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, as you were saying that, I was seeing bones being realigned. And uh, can I just read something? Yeah. 
in Luke 13, verse 10, it says here, One Sabbath day, as Jesus was teaching in a synagogue, he saw a woman who had been crippled by an evil spirit. She had been bent double for 18 years and was unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Dear woman, you are healed of your sickness. Then Jesus, then he, Jesus touched her and instantly she could stand straight. How she praised God. As you can see here, it says here that this lady who was bent over was crippled. Why? Because of an evil spirit. Mm. Many times disease is caused by a demonic spirit, an evil That's spirit, right. like a spirit of infirmity. And today we will pray for you and rebuke the, that devil of, that, that spirit of infirmity off of you in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. And in the same story in the Bible that I read to you, it says here that that woman was crippled. What is that? She was bent over. That is an issue of the bones. As we were just calling out, my husband was just calling out. God is straightening bones right now in That's Jesus' right. mighty name. Yeah. If you need healing right now regarding um joint, knees, or many, maybe, maybe broken bones, right now receive your healing in Jesus' name. I That's command right. uh, that spirit of infirmity to leave you in the mighty you, name Lord, of man. Jesus. And I command your bones to be straight in the name of Jesus. I command joint pain to leave you right now. Muscle aches in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. And if there's any crookedness in your body, in a bone, I command that bone to, to realign with the word of God, which is health and healing. Be made whole right now in Jesus' name. Be healed. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. Right now, get up, uh, 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 test, test your body. That part of your body that had pain, maybe your joint, your muscle, whatever it is, test it right now. Test, test it. If you couldn't walk before, right now, do something that you couldn't do before. Check your bones right now. I believe God has already healed many in Jesus' yes, name. And you, you, during this time that you're watching us, if God has healed you and touched you, and if pain left your body, or if you feel a difference, like God really touched you, please, um, Send contact, us, yeah. contact us, contact the, the, the TV station or, or, comment or or send us a message that you were healed during this broadcast god loves you and and this broadcast will not end without you receiving your deliverance and your healing your lives are changing and about to change even more in the name of jesus yeah in jesus mighty name yeah just keep keep listening to us yeah. every week right and because you're you're getting filled with the truth of god inside of you as she was mentioning, I was getting strong impression that many of you are believing lies and the reports. Mm. It could be lies from the enemy. It could be lies of the medical. Right now, I'm telling you that that might be that might be uh, true, but it's it's a lie because your body God created you in His image, and Bible says that when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. So, what is the truth? The truth is the word of God. The word of God says you are you are healed in Jesus Christ already. God purchased your your healing already by His chastisement. You are in His stripes. You are healed already. So He, uh, what uh, He Jesus healed you already. When He died on the cross, He healed you already. That's the truth. And as you believe the truth, the truth shall set you free. What what will happen is the sickness shall start disappearing in your life. The sickness will have no hold in your life because you don't believe the report. But you rejoice in the truth right now. I am healed, God. You healed me already. And that's how I receive my healing also. Although it took it may take whatever time. You don't care, but you just want the result. Uh, I'm, I'm sharing this to you because once you have that kind of faith, we call it violent type of faith. You grasp in Lord, I want that. I receive that. Whatever hap whatever I I receive that result. I will see it. I will see it. This this report says negative. This thing, but in Jesus' name, I'm healed in Jesus' name. And as you stand in your faith today, as you stand in faith tonight, God will move mightily in your life. God will. God is breaking that suicidal thoughts from few of you right now. 
You have the mind of Christ. I'm releasing it right now. You have the mind of Christ. The peace of God that guards your heart is inside of you right now. In Jesus' name, again, I break those thoughts right now. I break the, the attack of the enemy in your mind right now in the name of Jesus. God is right now depositing His thoughts and His mind and His love inside of you right now in Jesus' name. And God wants to heal you again. And healing is your portion. Healing is children's bread. And who are you? You are the one God God Jesus died for you Jesus died for you and God is healing you right now you know maybe you just came from the doctor and you just got a bad report about your health that you have an incurable disease or maybe you got a, a bad report about your child you know the doctor said something and you know that might be the fact mm -hmm. it's there there's a sickness right now but facts are subject to change. And the truth is that by the stripes of Jesus, you were already made healed. By the stripes of Jesus, you are already made whole. Healing is available. I just want to read this in Mark 5, verse 22. Okay, yeah. Mark 5, yeah, verse 22. Uh, hold on. Oh, sorry. Verse 25. Okay, Mark 5, 25. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. This is the woman with the issue of blood. She had suffered a great deal from everything she had to pay them, but she had gotten no better. In fact, she had gotten worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Immediately. The bleeding stopped. Immediately, the bleeding stopped. And she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. Here in Mark 5, it talks about a woman with an issue of blood. And she has gone to every doctor she could find. And she has spent all her money on medical bills. Maybe that is you. You have gone to specialist after specialist after specialist. But there's no hope. They don't know what to do. Maybe you have spent all your money. Maybe your savings, your, your bank account has been drained because of medical bills. But you know what happened to this woman? When medicine couldn't help her, when the doctors couldn't help her, when nothing could help her, she heard about Jesus. You see, when you hear that there is a healer, when Jesus, if you hear that Jesus heals, your faith will grow and you'll be able to receive a touch from him. You know, I really believe that there's nothing that a touch of God can't fix. Right. If there's sickness in your body and Jesus touches your body, you shall be made whole. Actually, what happened here was she was the one that touched Jesus. Wow. She touched the hem of his garment. How did she touch Jesus? She said, if I could touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She touched Jesus with the touch of faith. She knew and she believed that if only I could touch Jesus, I will be made whole. You know what? Jesus is here. You don't have to look for Jesus in a crowd where you have to have fight people for your healing. Because healing is available for everybody. You don't have to, to fight to get your healing. Jesus is here. He is right in front of you waiting for you to touch him with the touch of faith. To open your heart and believe and receive his love. The touch of Jesus is a touch of love and it's a touch for healing. It, it belongs to you. It belongs to everyone. It is available. He already died on the cross. He suffered a horrible death to pay for this so that you may be made whole because he loves you. So if you have an incurable disease right now, yeah. if the doctors has told you a negative report, and it could be true. You feel it in your body. You see it in your body. body, Or maybe it's for your child. Right now. Just receive this right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I curse cancer. In mm -hmm. Jesus mighty yes, name. I curse cancer and that incurable disease. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that disease is. Even in the pancreas. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of death over you. I rebuke the spirit of death over you. Mm, I rebuke I the spirit it. of death over you in Jesus' name. And you shall live and not die. And you shall mm. declare the word of the Lord. You shall live. You shall not die. You shall live 
In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Right now, I said, I just see people being healed right now, being wow. relieved right now. Thank you, Lord. If you feel that, like, uh, like a pressure being relieved right now, that's the Lord touching you in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I, I break right now generational curses in your family in Jesus' name. I come against all the spirit, all the generational curses. As she was mentioning, curse, it could be cancer, it could be poverty, it could be any type of sickness. I curse it right now in the roots in Jesus' name. I command that root to come off. And leave that family right now in the name of Jesus. Can you lift your hands? And God is touching you. God is healing you. And no more. I, I say no more. It's canceled out of your family, out of your home, out of your, uh, your relationship, out of your marriage. It's broken now from your children in Jesus' name. And right now, from this moment forward, I thank you for the blessing of God shall flow in your life. The health shall flow in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I just want to re uh, read some, some verses for those who are not who haven't read the bible yet so we want to cover each and every one right and bible says uh, as we are saying about the faith faith is always honored by god faith is always honored by god i was uh, as she was looking to this uh, Ma mark chapter 5 verse 28 to 34 28 and 34 to the woman who had issue of blood for 12 years who uh, who pressed to the crowd and saying within herself if i may touched by but his clothes i shall be whole jesus said daughter your faith has made you whole go and in peace and be whole of your plague right and in mark 10 verse 52 to the blind man in mark 10 jesus said go your way your faith has made you whole amen so in luke 17 verse 19 it says to the leper one leper who returned from to give thanks jesus said go your way your faith has made you whole. Uh, I will read uh, one more. John 4 verse 47 and 53. While on his way home, his servant the servants met him and told him, saying, your son lives. Because why also? Yeah, all, uh, because of the faith, right? Because of the faith they were carrying. And, and last, last one, I go here. Yeah, but it is uh, certain in Mark, this is Mark found in Mark 5, 6, verse 56, around that. It is certain that they had faith to be healed because when J Mark says he, Jesus, could do my no mighty works except he laid hands upon few sick and healed them. His inability to do mighty work uh, there was because of their unbelief. And, and because Jesus was doing some miracles because of their belief, they, they got healed. And, but because of they didn't believe, some didn't receive their healing. So my point here is, once you trust Him today, once you put your faith on Jesus today, God will touch you right now. Wherever you are, God will touch you. Lord Jesus, I receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. And you bind that sickness and God will actually move in your, in your house, in your family. Right now, we break that sickness, the power in Jesus' name right now. Yeah, and I just re rebuke any lying spirit that's telling you that you deserve this sickness, that God doesn't love you, or that God is punishing you. You know, God is a good, good God. He will never punish you using sickness or disease. That disease in your body or maybe your, your child's body or, or a family member, that sickness was not of God. It's not given by God. It's of the devil. G God doesn't give sickness. God is not trying to teach you a lesson by giving you sickness and making you sick because God will not contradict himself. It says in the word that, that Jesus died on the cross and by his stripes you have been made whole. Why would God make you sick and then give you healing? God is a healer. He does not give sickness and disease. He only heals. And also hear this. Don't quit and don't give up. There, there's some of you right now watching. I, I just heard that. Yeah. Don't quit and don't give up. Whatever situation you're facing right now, in every area of your life, don't quit and don't give up. And God loves you. Just say that over yourself. God loves me. God really, really loves me. Again, God is a good, good God. And He is your Father. And God really wants you to know Him. And the way to know Him is to know Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one sacrificed 
for you except Jesus Christ. Bible says in Old Testament that no bull, the the no no the no nor the blood of bulls or goats can can sacrifice your can save you from sins, right? Or sacrifice. But Jesus Christ became a sacrifice for you. So as you receive him today, what happens is he will come in your heart and he will transform your life. So if you are looking to transform your life, you are you are dealing with issues in your life. You are looking to transform your life. Jesus is the answer. So I am believing right now as you receive him. And I want you to pray with me right now to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Father, I thank you. Can you repeat this with me? Father, thank you. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. You wash me and you cleanse me from all the sins, everything I did, all the mistakes, Lord. You wash it clean. And re I receive Jesus as my Lord and heal my heart and heal my life and transform my life. I receive the Holy Spirit inside of me. I receive the baptism inside of me. I receive the transformed life in Jesus' name right now. Yeah, I just, I just want you to know that you hear God. You hear Him. He will lead you. He will guide you. Now that you have Jesus in your heart as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit now resides on the inside of you. And the old self that was you, your, your past sins, your past mistake, that darkness is now completely washed by the blood of Jesus. That, that your, your sins, which were red as scarlet, is now white as snow. And you have now been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light, into the kingdom of God's dear son. So right now, Lord, we speak provision in Jesus' mighty name. Those that are in lack right now, we command lack to cease in the mighty name of Jesus. And if there's somebody right now going through a very difficult time, even of transition, I thank you that you're with them. You're with them strong and you're carrying them through in Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. And I, I just declare this. That you will not have a heart attack in Jesus' name. Somebody with a heart uh, ache right now, you, it's like uh, you feel that ache in your heart. In Jesus' name, you shall not have a heart attack in the name of Jesus. I also rebuke any strokes, any mild strokes in Jesus' name. And there's people right now that have already had strokes. I, I command your body to come in line with the word of God. Be healed, be made whole. Everything that's not aligned, be aligned in Jesus' mighty name. Even in, in your mouth and your body, if, if something is not aligned, I command it to be straight in Jesus' mighty name. Even in the nerves, I command the nerves to be healed. In the name of Jesus, I command bodies to be whole, made whole in yes, Jesus' God. mighty name. I even command light in the darkness. Yes, I rebuke God. the spirit of suicide and depression in Jesus' mighty that's name. Right. Even the spirit of lust and fear. Uh, pornography in Jesus name be broken off of you any vices that you can't stop be be free in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name so I just also I, I also rebuke the spirit of witchcraft yeah, in the name of Jesus every curse that was spoken over you I cut it I break it I break those yeah. words those curses over you you are a new man and you're a new woman in Christ right now in Jesus mighty yes. name so I also release the life of God inside of you whatever is not from God is removed move right now in Jesus name and I thank you that the life of God is flowing in your body right now in all your cells right now being being empowered right now you are being empowered with the life of God again the life of God inside of you Jesus said to come and drink from me so right now he is filling you filling you with his life right now receive it close your eyes and receive his life right now say thank you Lord I receive your life I thank you Lord I receive your life in my heart and all the organs right now, all the bones. Lord Jesus, I receive your life in the name of Jesus. Again, God is filling you, filling you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And God is filling you with his peace right now in the name of Jesus. God is filling you right now completely, completely. He is consuming you with his healing now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we just speak life. Yes, in life. Jesus' name. Every word of death, curse of death that was spoken over you, even by, even by the doctor or maybe mm. by your own mouth, yes. we cancel, cancel it. it. We're cursing in Jesus' name. We speak life to every dead part of your body. We speak life to every organ. We speak life to your bones, your blood, your endocrine system, yes. to your nervous system. Every function of your body functions perfectly well in Jesus' mm. mighty name. 
and you are already healed and made whole in Jesus mighty name. Well, thank you for watching. If you have been healed, please let us know. Write a comment or contact us and message us. Remember, God loves you and he has made you whole in Jesus mighty name. See you soon. See you again.